today I'm going to make fish pie. Not a typically Canadian dish, so I'm showing my British side here, but it's topped with mashed potatoes, so it's a huge winner for everybody. And you can make it in a family sized dish like this one, or you can also make it in individual ones, which are perfect for the kids. So I'm gonna start off, I've already chopped and peeled some cauliflower, parsnip, and potato. Cauliflower is hidden in there for anybody that doesn't really like it, but it makes a really nice change. I'm gonna boil those first for the mash, and my fast way to get anything to the boil is to actually put it into, is to boil some water in my kettle first, because then I'm already ahead of the game. Put that in. Put all my vegetables in there. And I'm gonna let that boil while I prepare the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the fish pie. So we're gonna make a family-sized dish and you can use any fish that you like. I do prefer the cold water fish, the oily fish, the fish with teeth, your salmon, your mackerel, your sardines, um, herring even, uh, but you can really mix it up. Tuna would work well in here too. So already I've got a mixture of, um, of some fish. I've got some smoked mackerel because it gives it a little bit of a different taste. Again, that's kind of more British again. And then I've got some salmon. I've got some shrimp in here too because the kids love those. And then also some cod. So I'm gonna add this in afterwards. First of all, to my dish, I love things that are fast and easy. It doesn't take me too long. So I've actually grated the carrot and celery, which is gonna go in first. I've got some grated, a mixture of some pecorino and then also a little bit of, um, what did I use? Mozzarella actually, just because I wanted something different. And then I'm gonna add in some corn. You could also do some peas. If you like, that would totally work, uh, totally work too. And then I'm gonna add in all of my fish. So this is a pretty big family meal. I absolutely love it, that I don't have to do too much. This will probably last us a meal or two, and then also um, maybe lunch the next day. I like anything like that. So here I've got some dill. Love, love dill. I wish you could smell this as I cook, as I chop it, because it's absolutely fantastic. But dill goes so well with any fish, really. So just take, I don't even bother taking all of the pieces off, because the, uh, the stems all taste really good too. So we'll sprinkle a little bit of dill in there as well. And then I'm going to grate in some lemon rind. And then let's chop this in half and squeeze on some lemon juice in there too. So it's looking pretty good already. And then you can season with salt and pepper. And then just leave this to the side until the potatoes are ready. I'm gonna check the vegetables. Oh, nice and soft and tender. Drain them. And then I actually like putting my mashed potatoes, or in this case, parsnips, I like putting it back into the saucepan. And I'm actually just gonna mash it right in here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. You can add butter if you like, you can add a little bit of milk, a little bit of salt, pepper. If you wanna put some more dill in on top of that, you totally can. And then use those mussels. Get a little facial at the same time from the steam. And just mash that up. So if you mash it enough, they're not gonna know that there's cauliflower in it. If that's if that was your intention to hide it in there, I just like it that it gives it a nice different flavor. I use parsnips all the time when it comes to a mash. Although this is really full, all of that fish is going to cook and it's really going to reduce. So I'm not, I'm not that worried that it's looking like my like it's all overstuffed. So I'm gonna add on a little bit of greens. I love getting the greens in there as well. And if I tear it up enough, they're really not gonna know that it's there if your kids are not too sure about spinach. You can do a handful, mix it in. This could also be um, basil if you like. You can really go crazy, but anytime you can get greens into anything, it's absolutely fantastic. And then I'm just gonna pile it all on top and smooth it out. So kind of like you would if you were making a shepherd's pie, which is another typically 
uh, British pie that I love to uh, that I love to make in large batches again because they can always go into the freezer. So just kind of smooth it out. If you like cheese on top, you want to make it look a little bit um, crispy. You can abs absolutely just take some Parmesan, or I'm always a fan of Pecorino because it's a sheep's cheese. I like to change up the the different forms of dairy from sheep's to goats. Um, to cow's dairy as well. So this is looking really, really good. And it's gonna be nice and crispy and golden on the outside. Or, as I mentioned before, I could make this in an individual, individual one for my daughters. I've done that with lasagna before and they absolutely loved it. So that's looking really good. And into, the oven it's gonna go. I set it at 400 degrees and it's gonna cook for about 40 minutes and I'll show it to you when it's all done. Fish pie's done. Look at that. Now remember how piled high it was and now it's sunk down an awful lot so perfect size dish for the whole family and let's have a look inside. Nice and crispy uh, on top golden and brown and there it is dig down deep oh I can smell the the smoked mackerel in there and serve it with a side of uh, green beans or anything that you fancy there it is fish pie give it a try now it's your turn to make this in your family kitchen I'll see you next time Mm-hmm.